Am I going as fast as I possibly could? And the answer most likely is no. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my top 10 tips on how to be faster, more efficient, and ultimately not have to spend as much time sitting down. First tip is gonna be pre-planning. Maybe ask your clients for a specific video that they saw that they would like to model. Recently, it's happened to me where I just start working on a project. I give it to my client and he says, it's not what I was looking for. And there's a lot of adjustment that had to go into that video to finally get what he was looking for. Also, when you have an example to go based off of, you can basically copy that video and over time as you're editing, add your little spin to it, make it your own. And lastly, what I like to do before starting any project is put all my footage into folders in my hard drives, put those folders into bins in my editing software. And from there, cut all the fat from all the clips so you only have the clips that you really want and then start assembling. Second tip, avoid looking at your edits over and over and over. This is something that I know I've done so much of in the past. So something that you can do to avoid looking at your edit over and over and over is once you've edited a certain part of the video that you know it's not changing, you like how it looks, put a marker at the end of that and you know that everything to the left of that marker on the timeline, you don't need to look at that again. And here and there, if you want to look at your video from the very beginning, why not? Next, keyboard shortcuts. Personally, I like to keep my right hand on my mouse and keep it there. And I like to keep my left hand on the keyboard without me having to move my hands all around because over time that all those little milliseconds and seconds that you spend moving around add up over a long period of time. So what I've done is put a lot of the shortcuts that I need to the left side of my keyboard so my left hand doesn't have to move all around the keyboard. It just stays in that section. And lastly, on your mouse, use the scroll wheel with Alt, Control, or Shift. It'll allow you to scroll around, zoom in, zoom out and even make the layers bigger or smaller. Next is gonna be proxy files. Proxy files are amazing when you got like 4K files, or even if you have a crappy computer, you know, 1080 can make it very hard on you. So make proxy files. The best thing to do is do it while you're sleeping. So once you wake up, you get right into your edit. Make sure to make them low quality. Don't make high quality proxy files because it defeats the purpose. If you're on DaVinci, go to project settings. You're gonna scroll down to optimize media and render cache. Set this to an eighth and proxy media format. You wanna set this to DNXHRSQ, which stands for standard quality. Set the destination to an external hard drive, preferably an SSD drive, but it's up to you where you wanna send it. Once that's done, you just highlight all the footage that you want to create proxies for and you select generate proxy media here presets, templates, sound effects, and visual effects. All these things can save you a ton of time when creating your videos since you don't have to do them from scratch. What I've personally done in the past, got a subscription for one month and within that one month, just download it as much as possible. Sound effects, like templates, everything. And at the end of the month, I stopped paying, but I had like this huge library. Next, one of the things that I've done to really speed up my editing is creating power bins, especially on these type of videos. So in those videos, I'm constantly dropping emojis in my videos. And with these power bins, you can make any type of folder to get quick access to anything. You wanna make a sound effects folder. If you want easy access to something, you can just create a power bin and it is there for all your projects. The seventh tip, start with what you're most excited about. You wanna do some things like organization, cutting all the fat, but once you get all that out of the way, start with what you're most inspired to start with because that's what's gonna give you momentum, get your mind running, and it's what's gonna kick you into your creative flow much quicker. And start wherever you want. You can start at the very end of a video, you can start at the beginning, you can start in the middle. Wherever you're most excited about, that's where you're gonna go the fastest. Hillier Smith, who was or is Logan Paul's editor, has actually made a good video on this. I'll actually link it down below so you guys can watch it. The eighth tip is gonna be reflect. At the end of your project, look back at how fast you edited, how long did it take you, where could you have been faster? Could you have created shortcuts? Could you have created presets? 
Organize all the videos if you downloaded B-roll and stuff like that. Put it into your hard drive, save it for the next project. You might just need it again and make a plan to how you can be more efficient on the next one. Ninth tip is gonna be organize your computer after each project. You don't want to get to the beginning of another project and your desktop window looks something like this. Clean all that up. It's gonna be easier for you to find things. Your mind is gonna be decluttered. Just clean up and start fresh for the following project. And lastly, it's gonna be mindset. This is honestly the most important tip out of everything because if you can just constantly be looking on how you can be quicker, where you can create presets, if you can move around your shortcuts, if you can find something that's much faster, then go ahead, do so. And one last little bonus tip is set a deadline. If you have a deadline, your mind is just gonna work differently because you're trying to finish. Keep pushing yourself to be faster, more efficient while keeping the quality high. Keep pushing yourself as an editor because if you can constantly keep doing that, the progress is gonna be infinite and you're gonna keep on being better, better and better and much more valuable of an editor over a long period of time.